Lesson 229. Love which has created me is what I am. Beautiful lesson. Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students. I am Judith and this is the Lucid Mind Center. So we're going to read and contemplate this lesson together. And at the end, I'm going to guide you to a Qigong class, which is especially suited for you to apply this lesson in. And it's also um, where you're going to sink deep into meditation and connect to your source and become aware of your space within, become aware of your home and remember that you are actually love. So let's start reading our lesson together and I'm going to give you more instructions at the end. Lesson 229. Love which created me is what I am. I seek my own identity and find it in these words. Love which created me is what I am. This is one of those lessons you should, as far as I'm concerned, do for a whole week. <laughs> This is the key, really, to understand that you are love. And the whole miracle is about removing the obstacles to the presence of love, because that is what you truly are. So every time you feel love, you are remembering yourself. Every time you feel kindness and compassion, this is when you are remembering yourself. Now need I seek no more. Love has prevailed. So Still, so even when you go into stillness, you're sinking into this stillness. It's like a lake. So still, it waited for my coming home that I will turn away no longer from the holy face of Christ. And what I look upon attests the truth of the identity I sought to lose, but which my father has kept safe for me. And uh, really, this whole lesson, this one lesson here is explaining the whole meaning. It's explaining the whole Course in Miracles. Love is what you are. Love is what I am. God is love. God is light. Love is light. And light is lightness of being. When you are in love with a person, if it can be you are, when you love your parents or you love your sister, brother, or you love your partner, when you fall in love, it is so light to be, or you fall in love with your children. This is a lightness about it. But then often we start um, putting conditions on this love relationship. Conditions are part of the ego. And it says, love is so still. It is so still waiting for you like a still lake. And what we want to do is we want to sink deep within to find that lake within us. To find that Christ within us, within us. So what we want, because normally our awareness is in our mind. What we want to do, we want to sink our awareness into our heart. And we want to sink it into our lower belly. And become aware that it's love or chi which makes this body functional. That every living being is an expression of love. The most beautiful flower is an expression of love, not wanting anything from us in return. It just simply is there being beautiful and smelling nice and just improving our, the things which we are looking at. This is love. Love is just giving unconditionally without expect, expecting nothing back, like your dogs which are giving unconditionally their attention to you, like your children, like your parents. This is the love. And when you're experiencing love with anybody or anything, when you experience compassion, when you're experiencing peace, you are returning back to the truth of who you truly are. That's why it's always said, it's an instant. And what we want to do, we want to make those instant longer, instants longer. They are not counted by seconds. It's an instant where you are aware that you are love. That is also your salvation, as we did in the previous um, days. Love which created me is what I am. I seek my own identity and find it in these words. Love which created me is what I am. 
Now need I seek no more. Love has prevailed. So, so still it waited for my coming home that I will turn away no longer from the holy face of Christ. And what I look upon attests the truth of the identity I sought to lose, but which my Father has kept safe for me. And then the prayer, which I'm going to remind you as well to read while we are doing the class, the, the Qigong meditation. Father, my thanks to you for what I am. Gratitude is also an expression of love. For keeping my identity untouched and sinless in the midst of all the thoughts of sin my foolish mind made up. And thanks to you for saving me from them. Amen. Beautiful. It's about experience. It's not about words. It's about the experience. And once you know, you know. Once you know that you love somebody, you know. There's nobody who needs to prove it to you. You just simply know. Once you know that you are grateful, you know that you are grateful. This is the experience. The experience is a knowledge. It is not something which you intellectually can even comprehend or put into words. You can only uh, put it into words and make somebody else understand who has experience too. Then you can compare, like motherly love. If you're both mothers and you love your child and, the, and the, your friend, also a mother loves their child. When you're talking about motherly love, you can talk with each other because you have both experienced it. But if somebody hasn't, isn't a mother, to explain to them what this love feels like, you can describe it, but they will never, never understand it before they have experienced it. So this is what it is about. We want to experience that love within. We want to remember love. For this particular lesson, I suggest this standing Qigong class, this seated Qigong class. I also suggest you read What is Forgiveness? One more time with me, and here you have got the whole list of Qigong classes for A Course in Miracles students. Enjoy. <laughs>